friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe for more videos every time I upload. And in this video, we are going to be learning how to find all prime numbers below 100. This is a very useful trick that are going to be helping you whenever you need prime numbers. And as prime numbers are a very important concept in mathematics, learning how to identify these is perhaps one of the most important things. So let's take a look at how to identify all of the prime numbers under 100. A prime number is a number which can only be divisible by 1 and itself. As an example, the number 2 is prime because it can only be divisible by 1 and itself, which is 2. A number that is not prime is called composite, as it is divisible by more than two numbers. Now, let's deal with the special case of the number 1, because a prime number has to be divisible by two numbers, and a composite number has to be divisible by more than two numbers. So, if we take a look at the number 1, it can only be divisible by one number, which is, well, 1. So, is it prime or is it composite? Well, as it turns out, 1 is neither prime nor composite. It is in its own special category. So now, now we're ready to take a look at the sieve of Eratosthenes, otherwise known as how to find all prime numbers below 100. Let us begin by arranging all of the numbers from 2 all the way up to 100. We're ignoring 1 here because, as we have mentioned, 1 is neither prime nor composite. It is in its own category. So let's take a look at all the numbers from 2 to 100. We begin by circling the number 2. It is going to be our very first prime number. Now, after this, we have to cross out every subsequent multiple of 2 from this list because they are not prime as they would all be divisible by 2, therefore composite. So, let us cross them all out now. As you can see, we can now start crossing out 4, 6, 8, 10, and all of the other numbers divisible by 2, which are not prime because as well as 1 and themselves, they're also divisible by 2 as well. So now that we have successfully crossed out all of those multiples of 2, as you can see right here, we can now see that our next prime number is the one that has not been crossed out yet, which is 3. So we will circle 3 as our second prime number, and then we will cross out every subsequent multiple of 3. Now, you will see that some of these are also divisible by 2. And for those, we can just leave them as they are, which is crossed out, and just cross out all the unique ones that haven't been crossed out yet. So, as you can see, we have crossed out 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on, through all of the multiples of 3, which are not prime and are instead composite because aside from 1 and themselves, they're also divisible by 3. Next up, you can see that the next number we have not crossed out yet is 5, and so we will circle it as our third prime number. And then we can simply cross out every multiple of 5 afterwards. So this includes 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. And as you can see, a lot of those have already been crossed out from when we did 2. But that's no worry because as they have already been crossed out, we can just cross out the ones that are unique. And now we are almost there. And now all we have to do is take a look at the next number that we have not crossed out yet, which in this case is 7. So 7 is our fourth prime. 
prime number. And now, afterwards, all we have to do is just circle it and then cross out every subsequent multiple of 7, which includes 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and so on. So now we have, in fact, completed it. As you can see, now every single number that is left has already been crossed out. So now we can take a look at the 25 remaining numbers, all of which are prime. And those numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and finally, 97. As you can see, through this process, that we have now officially found all of the 25 prime numbers below 100. And you can actually extend this process for limits much greater than 100. Just start removing more and more of these numbers, and eventually you'll be able to get them. And as you can see, that is how this trick works. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.